everybody. Uh, during the last time, I observed more and more discussions about new ways of organizing work, about purpose-driven companies, um, a needed skill shift in education, and so on. Uh, companies, as well as consultants or the normal worker, they ask themselves, um, is there a new way of working? And is it worth the pain? And even more staggering, how do we get there? Um, in this little video, I want to give some insights in my work with a lot of companies who dare to confront themselves with the matter of new work, um, with a new path to corporate success, and last but not least, uh, with more personal productivity and happiness in, in the work sphere. And I call it uh, the Miyamoto way. Uh, Miyamoto Musashi was one of, if not the most famous, sword warrior in uh, medieval Japan. And he lived from 1584 to 1645 and died supposedly undefeated as a Buddhist monk after finishing his still famous book about war strategy, the Gorin no Sho, the Book of Five Rings. And being a friend of uh, martial arts as well as a new worker, I found stunning parallels between his five rings and the important factors regarding new work and organizations. And so this is why I call my consulting model Miyamoto. And Miyamoto's book contains of five important dimensions for the way of life. Earth, wind, water, fire and fullness. And these dimensions were of course named in the style of the Asian philosophies like uh, Buddhism, Confucianism, etc. But for the modern business world uh, we have to be uh, translate uh, them and transform them to be understandable and useful. So the earth would be our mindset, our thinking. The earth represents the base of what grows. The, the substance, the livelihood of everything that exists. Without Earth, there is no life. And same could be said about a company. Without the right mindset, no change will happen. No agility will take place and no fruitful culture will flourish. The mindset is the most important factor. Or, um, as I heard a boxer say, the fight is already won or lost before it already has begun. The wind, as the second factor, is the agility. A wind is unseen, but could have big impact. You, you, you never see the wind, but you'll see the effects of the wind. And wind could be both refreshing and destroying. Uh, the same could be said about um, the introduction um, of principles regarding, for example, agility and self-organization in a company. Without an underlying corresponding mindset, the agile principles will either be rejected or mistreated by the organization. The third factor, water, stands for learning. Like Earth, water is the base of life. But unlike Earth, water is fluid, flexible, adaptable in its shape to different grounds and circumstances. Parallel to that, the content and the forms of learning in a company must also be flexible, adaptable to the ever-changing needs of um, new technologies and market innovations. Without constant flexible learning, an organization dies. The fourth factor is fire, and fire is for strategy. Fire is a, is a strong but simple power. Yeah? It, it doesn't make compromises. It's also visible over a long range and it gives orientation in the dark. Uh, a company strategy must fulfill the same conditions. Every employee should understand what the company is doing, why and how it serves the public. The strategy must also have an inherent power, creating the urge to follow it. And the last factor uh, the fullness at last is the added value. When all the full parts 
are working together. Mindset, agility, learning, and strategy contribute to the fullness, the added value. And in contrast to traditional management models, uh, there can be a development in profit without the development and growth of the employee and the collective corporate culture. So uh, the, the Miyamoto model is therefore an integrating model of personal, social and financial growth for every company. And that's 